If you're clicking on this video, <laughs> shout out to Puerto Rico. I'm representing Puerto Rico. My brother Joey Kale is representing. Why are you gay? We got nothing against the gay community. We just thought it would be funny to talk about the most suspect, gayest moments in fight history because even though we don't got nothing against gay people, it's still hilarious. It's objectively especially, hilarious. Especially tough dudes who fight for a living doing gay shit. So we're going to go straight into it. Number five is none other than Mike Tyson. When he was at the press conference or weigh-ins of the Lennox Lewis fight, Somebody told Lennox Lewis to put Mike Tyson in a body bag. Mike Tyson heard him, and this is what happened. Pretty awesome. I didn't know any of that, so. Like, uh, see. so this is not a movie. This is a real life event. Hey. <laughs> he even grabbed his crotch. He's like, yeah. My big ass dick. Fuck you, ass for everybody. Fuck you in the ass in front of everybody. You scared coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared. Damn. What is it about being the most testosterone filled man and have erotic threats? I'll shove that bat up your ass and turn you into a popsicle. <laughs> what is that about? I think what he's trying to say is like, listen, if I wanted to fuck you in the ass, there's nothing you could do about it. That's how tough I am. The number four spot belongs to the last style bender when he decided to pull a doggy style move and rape Paula Costa after knocking him out. <laughs> I tell I you mean, what, this shit. is just straight violation. If somebody did this, there's no more fighting involved. I GTA mean, 6 right here. Oh my God, did you hear the news? <laughs> oh my God. What? Oh my God. You already knocked him out. You Not gotta hit it from clean. the back too? I just saw you don't play. He beat you with the hands and then he want to beat it down after. <laughs> oh. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Shout out, shout out to the title of this video. <laughs> is he humps Paula Costa? Plus, he ejaculates on his coach. <laughs> is this true? Yeah, you can call me Mystic Mason because I predict these things. Eating the shit out of them. He's fucking Ref them up. Steps in, being says, not that ass. Oh, I said right there. Two bing, bing, bop. I missed that. Want to see it again? Okay. He's one, a, one, wait, but where's the ejaculation? He's not a one hit a quitter. Bing, bing. He's a two <laughs> hit a quitter. <laughs> Gay. Shout out to Robin Black. And he got his little boob hanging. No, Yo, that's true. That's, that's an Easter egg right there. Really lower back. Oh, that's the ejaculation part. Look, he really did do it. Wow. He made history becoming the first UFC champion to ejaculate in the octagon. Number three belongs to no other than Adrian Broner and Madonna. Now this one is ahead of Adesanya only because they both exchange bangs. Cause I'm coming on your ass, wait. <laughs> they took turns, like this is pretty reciprocal. That's good. definitely gayer than the than the last one, right? <laughs> one was a taker, one was a receiver, and one was a giver. I will tell you one thing right now. Both Madonna, <laughs> Madonna got his payback. No matter how you feel about this. Oh, you think anybody you humps me? I'm humping you back, bro. Beat him off. You think you gonna fuck me? <laughs> Fucking back. And he did it with a little bit more passion. Yeah, yo, he did it like. Yeah, brother was like horny or something. He did it better than what he was doing with those two strippers in, in, <laughs> to in, in video. Remember, he had a, a sex. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's actually rate the strokes. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. It's me, yo, yo, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing? Me, Donna got the wet strokes. <laughs> yeah, we talk about champions. Yeah, Madonna's not a chap. You know, Madonna's not gay. Like the stiffest, but he's big. Oh, he's cool. Oh, he like gave a him a prison hump. Yeah, he he's like a, a rabbit. prison hump. Like, oh, he's you didn't like expect this. Number two goes to Heath Herring when he got lip locked <laughs> by the what's his name? Yashahiro Nakao. And he got knockout. He got knockout. He got knockout. He got knockout <laughs> bad. Yo, did you notice that in the video it says mucho suckle knockout? <laughs> does that have yeah. anything to do? That has nothing to do with anything, but it does say mucho suckle knockout. What do you think is going through this guy's mind? Like he what? Oh, oh man. man. He's like, no, I wasn't ready. 
I ain't blowing this dude no more. No <laughs> boy for him. He knocked me out with a tap kiss. Imagine if I would have slipped some tongue in there. Yeah, it would have been over. Your life, you would have got stomped out. <laughs> out of my face. <laughs> he's like, damn. He's like upset at himself. Like, damn. I lost like, my cool. Damn. I want to knock his ass out too. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Do lip lock. He kissed me in the lips. That's violation. He hit me with an uppercut lip lock. The rear naked lip lock. Yeah, he kissed me in the lips. What's up? But he did that to They him. mad at him. They're like, oh, he's like, oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm not gay, man. I'm not a homosexual. <laughs> Number one, Dana White lip locking with Tito Ortiz. <laughs> I guess they used to get along when they were dating. But Dana White started cheating on him with Chucky. He is a fruit loop. So now we can consider that a love triangle. <laughs> Chuck, Tito, and then Dana. He, then he got his new boyfriend to knock out Tito and Tease. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. After Tito kissed Dana White, he became Dana Pink. <laughs> he was blushing. Was Yo, that was a long one. It wasn't slow motion, really. <laughs> <laughs> If there's any more of these you guys want to see, let us know. This was hilarious, and trust me, we love to laugh. So please, send requests so we can laugh. Peace, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or Mike Tyson is going to fuck you in the house. I love you, Mike. I love you.